Friendly greetings, I'm Torley Linden, and today, ooh, fancy cars, I'm going to show you how to create a group. It's really easy, really fun, and you can create a group for whatever reason, be it business, social, or otherwise. So you can just go to Edit Menu and Groups, or another way is to click Communicate and make sure the Groups tab is selected, and then you just go into Create. So it shows you this Group Information Panel. So like it says, type your new group name here. Uh, what's the first word that comes to mind? Watermelon. Let's see. Group Charter. This is like your mission, for your mission statement, your, uh, your slogan, motivation. So I could say, you know, I love watermelons because they are tasty. Everyone who belongs to this group must. Two. And then, as you see, apply is lit up, so we can go ahead and form that right there. Okay, now it says, are you really, really, really sure? Uh, yeah, I am. Yes. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, a group with that name already exists. Let's see why. If I go to search, then I go to groups, see the groups tab is already selected, and I search for watermelon. Oh, see, it's already taken by someone. Apparently, it's got two visible members. No worries. So we can name it something else, like Watermelon Nation. And then I can change this group insignia, which is like your logo. So I can, let's see, let's look at my photo albums. Let's see if I have anything catchy. Ooh, post summer flaggers. What could that be? Okay, that looks kind of fun. These were sent to be my Mad Cow Cosmos, people who followed my Flexi Flag tutorial. That should load shortly. And you see these preferences down here. These are other sorts of options. This would be like a, a join fee if you want people to pay. But if you check open enrollment, this means anyone can join your group. It's an open group. Mature group, of course, means uh, you got mature content. So again, you can apply. And now this time, I will say yes. And there we go. My group, as you see, has been created just like that. And right now, I'm the only member, which is a problem. Why is that a problem? Because a group technically is two or more people. <laughs> so you should find someone else to invite, or within 48 hours, your group will be disbanded. Now, if I don't want my title to be owner, I can change that. Let me go ahead, and I'll go into the Members and Roles tab, and Roles sub-tab here. And then I can click Owners, because I created, I'm the owner, and I can change my title to Watermelon Maven. And then again, I can click Apply. Now, the fun thing about group titles is you can show them to other residents. How do you do that? Let me just click OK. And I select Watermelon Nation from my groups list of all the groups I belong to. And then I select Activate. So it becomes bold. And then above my head, as you can see, hello there, it's, I got a big head, a melon head. Watermelon Maven, great. Now you see when I go back, right click, hello, and go into groups, and then I click info, right there it says my title is Watermelon Maven. And if you belong to different roles within the group, this is w very well explained in our knowledge base, you can have other sorts of titles, because each role has its own title. Like if you ever want everyone else to be a melon disciple, then you can also have that choice of changing your active title. Let me refresh that, it takes a moment sometimes. And sometimes you can click this refresh button if changes don't happen right away. So Melon Disciple, just give it a moment. And then OK that. And then above my head, it will say Melon Disciple, voila. <laughs> Thus, as you can see, the actual process of creating a group is pretty straightforward and simple. Groups management is pretty complex on some levels and can get pretty detailed. But the first thing you want to do after creating a group, of course, is invite people. I've covered this before, but it's always a helpful refresher. You can just right click on anyone else, more, and group invite. And then you can select that group, it's already selected. Okay, and you can invite multiple residents. So if you choose to, you can open the person chooser and go ahead and enter in more names. And what you can also do, of course, after you put the names in here, you can send invitations. This method is quicker than, for example, the long way of inviting someone to groups is communicate, go to groups, get group info, and members and roles, and invite new person. So that's sort of the longer way. But if you find someone in your another avatar in your direct vicinity, you can just invite them directly. And remember, as long as you've got at least two members, 
that should be really easy. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Voice is on. As long as you've got someone else in your group with you, then it will stay open <laughs> and you can continue onwards with it. And finally, for now, remember, if your group is open enrollment, anyone can search by clicking on the search button. Go to groups tab here and I'll just look for it. There we go. Watermelon Nation has only got one member, so I can go ahead and click join and become a part of it. And you'll notice right then it refreshes. I'm a Melon Disciple as well. And then the group title is shown over my head. When you join a new group, it takes on the active title, just like that.